they call it album out now. It's incredible. Phenomenal. The biggest and the best. Tonight we on one. Tonight we on one. Hey yo, hey yo, cat. What's up, cat? Yo, cat. I usually bullshit them for about 10 minutes. I said, fuck that. I got the biggest boy in the game coming on Cat Williams. I said, yo, man, fuck that, man. Let's just get straight to this shit, man. Yo, what's up, cat? What's up, fatness? How's everything? Crack. <laughs> Yo, Chad, how you been, man? You be off the radar. Sometimes, every now and then, you might pop up on the live and then break out. How you been, man? How's everything? Oh, I am. Um, I am uh, always great, uh, Bokashim. Uh, God makes sure that I am always in a magnificent position. So even when I go away, I'm. I'm under the loving care of the angels. So that's why I'm always able to come back fresh, you know? Let me tell you something, Cap, man. You one fucking mean motherfucker, man. Since day one, you've been killing the game. You've been playing by your own rules. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you and and you's a winner, man. You's a fighter, you a survivor. You know what I'm saying? We love you, man. We fucking love you, Cap. Yo, cat. Yeah, he's trying to blow up your phone, but let me tell you, say your cat. You the first to call me fatness, man. That shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everything I do is original, sir. I, I'm I'm really not trying Yo, to be cat, like anybody you know, else, you know. Yo, cat. I love all your specials you do. Um, uh, I remember the one you was talking about the vato, the little vato on the um, in the in the baby chair in the in the um baby carriage where his feet were still touching the ground. How do you come up with this shit, Cat? Um, I'm a man of the people. So I, I watch the people. I study the people. I'm into the people's conversations. A lot of times it puts you in places you probably shouldn't be for your income bracket, but you are a spokesman of the people in our field, in my lane. And so I am talking to 10,000 of the people. I cannot be incorrect about the people's feelings. I'm, I'm a public official. You follow what I'm saying? So um, the things that I say that are funny are funny most of all because they're true. And uh, <laughs> it, it has to be uh, refreshing at some point just to have people that speak factually. Um, you know, I've never, being that I'm a creative person, uh, I'm a sucker for a laugh. You know, when I went to see Eddie Murphy Raw, they threw, we went a hundred deep for my projects. The only person they threw out the fucking movie theater was me. Cause I'm just extra with the shit, right? But, um, yeah, I, when I watch now, when I watch you and fellow comedians, when you really I can't enjoy it as much as regular people because the whole time I'm thinking, how the fuck did they think of that shit? How he, he thought, what kind of fucking shit he was on to think of some shit like that? And it blows my fucking yeah, mind that's because the, that's, that's, I know that's when I be whole, writing rhymes where I'm key. at. Right. But that's, but that's the key. See, um, the misconception is that there are drugs that can help you do your job. No, there isn't. There aren't job drugs that help you memorize, to be creative, to come up with something that somebody didn't already say, to figure out the funny thing in something tragic. Those are not the side effects of drugs. Those are the side effects of brilliance. And so if you think that there's some state you can be in that will deliver you a higher frame of comedy, there, there isn't. It's the closest connection with the people. I'm only the greatest comedian living because I have more female fans than any comedian on the globe. Period. That's the end of the discussion. That, that, that yo, cat. So the that, girls, the girls love you, sir. I don't yo, love cat, anything love but the them. Firm. There is nothing on this planet other, ma'am, sir. A perm is an homage to them anyway. They know what that is. <laughs> 
See, they, they let me in the business thinking that maybe I was soft out there. You understand? But it was a misconception. So even as the pimp comedian, you have to understand the brilliance in the fact that he's told no pimp jokes. That he has no jokes about slapping mm. the bitch. That conversation never takes place. You understand? So they downplay me because they must. Because the guy that you're saying is crazy and maybe a crackhead has outworked you every second that he has been a peer of yours. You probably have one comedy special. He probably has 10. The greats you talk about probably have two and he has 10. This is 16 100 <gasps> city tours. It's, it's, this is a Don't billion streams. You, you mean, you see, so <laughs> what I'm saying is, if you don't understand that you are powerless other than the power that God gives you, then you're going to be stuck out here pretending and playing and attempting to be things that you don't need to be. We are in a, a blessed craft, this one of comedy, but it is part and parcel with the people it is delivered to. So You're definitely a GOAT, and I understand competition, friendly competition. Uh, who are some of the guys that inspired you? You, you might not even want to big up the guys that's out not there. Who are some of the guys that inspired you when you was coming up in the game and you said, man, that motherfucker funny as hell? Okay, before I get to that, let me just let you understand that um, my inspiration has never stopped. So I'm as inspired by the guys I'm watching on TikTok as I am inspired by a Richard Pryor or a George Carlin. George Carlin was an atheist. How close can I be with a guy who don't believe in God? Richard Pryor really was a dick-sucking crackhead because he said he was, and yet he is our king. So imagine. Yo, cat, you got to stop. Yo, like cat, that. don't call Richard Pryor dick-sucking crackhead. Don't do that. Let it, That's cat, in his stop. autobiography, sir. In his autobiography, he tells you who he slept with, what he did. That's what made him the GOAT, is because he did not hide the things that were bad in his life, the things that you wouldn't tell anybody about. He told that, not he crossed over. He married seven white women. That's not crossing over. That's crossed over. You follow what I'm saying? So that's why <laughs> his death, his legend endures because he was that magnificent, that special. So, you know, I want I, I want you to understand DJ CC and Modern uh, Day, who makes Mr. you laugh? Junior who makes and you laugh Plag, now, they inspired me. I, I was just giving oh, you Plag those names. You like laugh? funny, but fun, funny stuff makes me laugh. Like I'm not I'm not stuck on me. I I, I'm a fan of the craft of, of laughing, of what happens when you say something and the fact that you have to understand that there has to be a God for you to be able to laugh. That's not no medical thing. They can't tell you why if that guy says that thing, it brings joy inside of your actual physical body. They're not explaining that to you. <laughs> You know, man, but I, I honestly thought I could die of 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 laughing. Like, I like, I've really I've laughed heard you, sometimes. I've heard you tell that, but our, we are built on you. You your whole thing is, man, this is terrible, man. I can't handle it. Like, dude, you are everything that we do this for. It's for that for the fact that somebody comes in from a life that they're not happy with sitting next to somebody they're not 100% happy with. They don't like the aesthetics, but they're going to come out of there feeling better. And, and, and if you can do that as a doctor or a lawyer, then you know you've been blessed. If you can do that as a comedian, hey, Kat, what do you, you, think you know about this saying? new shit, this cancel society, everything you say is wrong. I love it. You know, I love uh, it. I love it. I love it. There is no such thing as no repercussion. What is that? What is no repercussion? What is the volcano that won't burn you? What body of water can you not drown in? What? No, 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 no. <laughs> the, you were given a platform and now you can say whatever you want to say. Good for you. That comes with a cost. That's why I don't have to worry about mm -hmm. underlings because I, you've watched me hurdle eight eight allegations that would cripple the common man. 
Mm. You assume. Mm. You see him go 19 times and you assume, I guess he's paying his way out or, or anything except for innocence. <laughs> it's the one thing you won't give him. <laughs> <laughs> But at the end of the day, whoever you think is crazy might be smarter than you. And if that required them to allow you to call them crazy, then so be it. I've read the autobiographies of thousands of famous people, and this is the way it goes. True greatness, they give that to you when you're not around no more. Unless you're Muhammad Ali, yeah. they'll give you your flowers because you can't talk no more when it was the talking that made you that. You follow what I'm saying? While Richard Pryor was walking around, they weren't acting like he was the greatest thing since comedy. You understand? Yeah, that's the shit that they they bought Jesus, me like out Jesus, is... while Jesus, was... Jesus healed people, Even Joe, Jesus and they walked by away. Jesus healed Jesus people, Jesus was Joe. killed by police. Joe. Joe. Jesus healed people, and they walked away. How do you walk away? How were you crippled and I fixed yeah. your legs and you used those brand new legs to go home with? And so as long as Jesus only had 12 followers, I'm not going to be caught up in the numbers. You understand know me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't get caught up in the motherfucking yeah. numbers. Fuck that. No, not, not I mean, when you have that. We just got to stay true to ourselves like you always have. You know? That, it's as simple as that. It. That's not me. That's you. Yeah, cat. Look like we having a steering contest. No, no, no we, we wasn't. That's, that's, <laughs> nah, that was you that froze. Go on and take that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, cat. You ever had like a fucked up experience? I know every comedian says they have bombed. Have you ever went into a show where you thought you was about to kill that shit and you bombed on motherfuckers? Okay, so now. I know your love of comedy and I know what your future plans are. And it really bothered me when I heard you say what you said about being a comedian, but I'm not gonna bomb, okay? So now I just need you to understand what you said is, cause nobody's gonna knock you. You can do the impossible. Just understand that it's a basketball player saying, I don't miss a shot. Mm. Because if you didn't miss a shot, you probably didn't take a shot either. Yeah, See, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. L, the L's, the L's create the superiority. The L's are designed, mm. that bomb is designed to make you not do this anymore. See, mm. if you bomb, maybe you won't do this anymore. That's what it's there for. It's to keep you honest and to make sure that no, no bum off the street could do this for one year, let alone 29. Mm. <laughs> mm. And, and, and never nah, once be right, in your cat. fair view. You follow what I'm saying? Yo, because cat, you, you right. Yeah. No, nah, you, you so right. You, though. Yeah. I'm you just right, saying, I'm saying <laughs> you're not. Whoever has the most home runs also has the most strikeouts. Once you understand that, then you can be Babe Ruth as I am. You see, the that the, the boxer fact. who yo, refused yo cat, to, man. The, the boxer who won't yo, get yo. punched in the face <laughs> is no boxer. <laughs> He's a shooter. He's a stepper, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> You're right, Cat, because I always say, yo, man, I want to do stand-up comedy, but I want to sit, you know, I'm going to kill him, man. You know what I'm saying? I say, I say, yo, when I do do it and I embrace it, and I and I and I can't, it's gonna be some funny shit, cat. I, I promise you. You don't have to. You ha you have stories and you have the insight, and that's called content in our business. See, if other comedians had stories, they'd be telling theirs. You follow what I'm saying? But. Mm. What your life is your material. You follow what I'm saying? So I, I get so much pride in the fact that I'm in these hoods all across the globe, but but I made my money off verbiage. I didn't have to peddle no poison out in the streets. You understand me? I, there is no shame in this game. I only sold my unfiltered, uncensored thought process. So mm. once, once you... Uh, I, lo I love that, cat. Yeah, it's it's um. I love that they try to censor me. I don't I don't let motherfuckers censor me. 
I won't let them censor right. me. Well, I, mean, I won't understand. Understand that you you're going to develop some sense of of censorship. You need that. Censorship is not a bad thing. Censorship is you getting ready to tell the wrong dude about himself, and me telling you, hey, not him. You follow what I'm saying? Mm. There are people mm. in the world you can say F you to. There are just certain people that you cannot. You talked about what your mm. stepfather had to go through. See how small I am? I, I can't be involved mm. in 19 assault. It's beautiful unless there's more to the story. <laughs> yeah, there's That's always more is. to the story. You know, motherfucker, motherfucker try to try motherfucker all the time. I don't give a fuck. I tell people no matter what your reputation is, a motherfucker try you. And in this business, motherfucker, you know, as famous as you are, I might have paid 20 lawsuits in my life. I ain't paying no more. But I mean, I have motherfuckers beg me to punch them in their face. Beg me to, yo, your mother's a lesbian. Fuck your father. Yo, you pussy. My uncle told me your sister's a, yo, yo. I mean, where you just like, you almost, you know, by the 19th lawsuit, I was already knew what was coming. So I was like, yo, please, no, no. Yes, your mother. <laughs> and then you got to give it to them. And, they, and they're looking for that quick check. So I know what you're talking about, 19 assaults. They, I mean, motherfuckers used to start with Mike Tyson. Motherfuckers, imagine and somebody trying to I take a deliberate blow from Mike Tyson. Look. The world has become so fake that the real is what's suspect. It's just the way it is. There's no mm. need of us complaining about it. We have to embrace the new direction that the water is taking. It's just the way mm. it goes. It's just the way it goes. It's just, it's just the way it goes. You got to adapt. It's, part of the process. It's, it's important that mm. Satan be around. Otherwise, you'd have to serve God. You wouldn't have no other option. He had to make sure there was an option for you, too, in case you don't like my way. I still have to make a highway so it can be my way or the highway. That's right. Shout out my brother, Lord Finesse. He's on the check-in. D-I-T-C. Love That's you. That's what it do. Love you, Finesse. And I was in my projects today, man. They doing this big documentary thing on me. And uh, I, I went to my projects where I grew up today. And, uh, you know, the people said, welcome home, Joe. You know what I'm saying? It was like, welcome home. I took them through every, this was no photo op. I went through every milk and cranny of the project, the basement, the hallway, the dip. You know, I took them through all that shit, you know. With, with, but how they do that new shit that they like, uh, they scared the shit. Like, it was the ski challenge. I went to that motherfucker with the oh, ski challenge. Yeah, like, like the Cat Williams Court man. I did see the cat ah! dance when he did. <laughs> yeah. Ah! I I love it. That's what you that's when you are a part of the culture. This is this is what we do it for. We we rock the long hair until everyone's rocking long hair and we don't say anything about it. We talk about the fact that medicinal marijuana needs to be a real thing across the country until it actually becomes that. We talk about how we need that black president until we get it. This is what we do. We really outside, baby. <laughs> really outside. Really for outside. Real. No bullshit. For real. No bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And they love it, though, man. You know, um, of course, one should be careful. You know what I'm saying? But they love it, though, man. I know I love when I eat in a hood restaurant. When the time I get up, they let me eat. They all start yelling. These are thugs. They start yelling, God bless you, man. God bless you and Bendy Shone. Because they say, damn, man, these motherfuckers ain't forget us. They still here with us. They still supporting. Sir, you know, uh, that, that, as, that, and, and, as scary and as dangerous as the hood is all across the United States, I never feel any safer than when I'm in their confines. That's a fact. And they'll protect you. That's a fact. And that's so, I always said that I don't want to bring up. Um, R. Kelly right now because he has nothing to do with our conversation. But one, th back in the days, I thank used to you. explain to them, you know. Thank you. He said, "Thank you." Yeah, 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 cat, yeah, you too fucking much. But back in the days, I used to say he sings just as good at Boys to Men. The only problem is Boys to Men's they so clean cut that when the clean cut movement movement was over, 
They was like, all right. All right. But this dude was getting it was, his braids it in was front that, of the porch not, and keeping it hood and all that. Because, the hood will always support you. Right. As artists, we are representations of something that we come from. And so the reason that they couldn't go further than that is because those dudes was no longer pulling girls in the club. You couldn't come and get <laughs> well, your polo top and go pick up something. No, no, you could not. You can go to the end of the road. <laughs> it's unnatural. <laughs> ah! Yo, you know your cat, you know something? I don't knock it, but I don't get high. One day I was chilling um, I don't think that's uh, with a girl. She was getting high. I definitely caught the 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 the, the two hand contact one billion percent, and I was watching my man yeah. Lavelle Crawford, right, back in the yeah. day when he was love really Lavelle. fat, and the more I love that motherfucker, and his head looked like a human M and M, like an M M&M and M with peanut, and then he got that shit where he started saying that he talked to crack and crack is talking back to him. I mean, you almost died that night, man. I almost died that night. I could I couldn't but, believe it. Uh what are some of the uh performances you, that you wish you your feel some sort of way to? of what? Hold on. I, I didn't want to get off Lavelle because All right. I, um, I didn't mean Lavelle. I wanted you, to mean you what is your favorite you what appreciate, is your favorite moment? Hold on. I gotta give Lavelle his props just because you mentioned mm -hmm. him comedically. Yes. You, you you appreciated his comedy because he was holding down a whole lane, a whole demographic. He and Bruce Bruce were that lane so that the big guy understood that he could be fly and funny. They, those are, those are the, um, the brilliance of comics. That's why there's no such thing as hating other comics. These are other styles. These are other... These are other styles. You ain't, this you is ain't, you ain't bullshit, Cat. Cat, what, what, what do you think is your funniest moment? Your funniest moment, your funny joke? When, when one time you said to yourself, yo, I fucking said that? Like, that had to be the funniest. Look, I did lean back for the first time, thanks to Little John. He brought me to Summer Jam yeah. in front of 62,000 people. It was, it was one week after Lean Back came out, and all 62 at Summer Jam was going that that's the biggest show the biggest moment i had what is the funniest moment you ever had cat um this special that i just put in the can that i'm on set as we speak editing you i got finally put special this is a joke for a moment cat nobody knows you got one coming what's the name of this no, special? no Have one no one never, it yet? No. One ever does, sir, when they're when they're really good and well, see, they're supposed to be special, and so if they're really special, you don't have to pre-sell them. You know what I mean? Like when they drop, people will understand what it is you're delivering, and they trust. You know what I mean? And that's the connection we, that we I have. We trust. With my Yo, cat, your last special. That, I was your last mm. special. I was with my wife in the hotel, and I said, "Oh shit." This motherfucker got a special. So I turn it on. She's trying to sleep. I am fucking dying laughing. Like, but she, she's mad as hell because she's sleeping. But I'm watching the room. I'm laughing so much. Yo, can I had to go in the bathroom, bathroom, like lock the door just to laugh and shit. Come back out, start laughing, go back in the bathroom door, start laughing. She wanted to fucking kill me, cat. That shit was hilarious, man. Sir, this is the greatest testimony that a comedian can get, and I thank you for that. I thank you for that. I'm saying, oh, unlike man. other comedians, like I don't really, I don't work my comedy out at the smaller clubs and then work up to the arenas. We just hit each arena. This is a different set each time because when I came in the business, the comedians were able to take one set that they had that was super funny and they would do that same set for like seven years. You know what I mean? And as a new like comic, that. it just didn't I don't like that. You know, and we began this wave of 
comics having to write new material every time. And so it's still in its sure. infancy, but but um, the effect has been great for the audience. Everybody is more creative. All the comics are really out there writing funny material. Stand-up comedy has benefited from that. So um, I, I appreciate being able to get that response out of you. And if I don't get that, I don't have anything else. You follow what I'm saying? Like, like, like yo, as a yo, musician, Kat, you did that, you the did beat that can one. be good and you not. Go ahead. You did the last one in uh, Jacksonville, right? Was it, was it in, right. Uh, right. in Duval? Jacksonville. And where you, Indeed, where, where the you great did this one at? Where you did the new one at? We, I mean, we can know the place. You can know the place. The place is Netflix. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> yo, cat boy, I'll tell you, you something else, man. Let me tell you, yo. Let me tell you I something. Only do I was so fucking. What? I said, I only do specials in the places that I love. Yeah, I believe that. Because you, you pick them wisely, you pick them how you want to do it. Nah, that, that is a fact. That is a fact. Um, yeah. Movies. Will we get another Friday? Will we get a, like like what what you thinking about in in the sense of movies? I have a movie coming out um, in July fourth. Me, Mike uh... Epps, DC. Young. No, I take that back. DC Young Fly is not in it. I did another movie with me and DC Young Fly and K Carrie Hilson. So there's two. So yeah, but um, meet the blacks too, the house next door. That's coming out July fourth. And meet uh, the blacks yeah. too. The, right. We do have right. a joke for a moment here. Nobody that was, heard that, that before. That was that was um, directed by Dion Taylor. That's the good people over at Lionsgate. So you know, um, if you don't see me, trust and believe I am alive and working. <laughs> that's what we do. That's that's what yeah, they can't yeah, shake yeah, from. Yeah, everybody about. know. Ain't nobody sleeping on you, Cat, man. You got a fan base. I'm one of your biggest fans. You have a cult following. Whenever your shit drop, announced or unannounced, we're going to see that shit. There's no question about it. Well, this was just an, a great opportunity because it, I was able to do a movie with uh, Gary Owen, and Lil Duval and Michael Blackson and Mike Epps and um and be the straight man in the production. Like it it's some it's some must see it it, it was just it was great. Straight to man in the production. Talk. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, when a when a when a script is really good, when it's really good, when it's not made into a comedy, but it's actually a good script with no comedy parts added to it at its core. Mm. The base story, when that's a good read, when you go, wow, I didn't see any of that coming. That's when you want to do a project like that. And if you got funny people in it, you always want to involve yourself with other funny energies. That's what gives the audience the classics that they need if you see a movie and it looks like it should be funny and it don't be that's chemistry that's just what that is mm -hmm. you can't put oh, it's all about pieces. chemistry you know because I, I, I won't say no names i won't say no names but i seen the motherfucking movie recently that should have been funny and wasn't funny and but i still support it but it kind of felt fucked up, man, because we want to see motherfuckers get a check. So I, everybody, oh, they got this and they got, I'm, I'm happy for motherfuckers hey. getting a check, but it wasn't funny. Can I ask you, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. As the king, as the king, I just want to ask this to a fellow king. Have you ever had season tickets before? Season tickets to like a, yeah, yeah, I had Yankee season tickets. Oh, uh, right. Yes, I have. Did you do you receive uh, some type of refund for the losses versus the wins? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Your motherfucker, you pay for that motherfucker. You get what you, you paid to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how life works. The problem works. is, 
The problem is, cat, you fool me once, but you won't get you maybe twice. But I'm not going to no whack shit three times in a row. So, like, if it's a comedian who used to kill shit and he put out some whack shit, I'll go again, but not the third time. I'm not going back the third time. That's like going to a pizza shop getting bad pizza. You know, you ain't fucking coming back for the pizza, man. That's not the way pizza works, Joe. <laughs> there, there's some shitty people out there right now. Nothing like hotcakes. It's frozen and in somebody's grocery section right now, and it's gonna heat up and be terrible. You might as well eat it frozen. <laughs> God, you might as well eat it frozen. But they, but they're in the pizza business and they make a lot of money. So, so, of money. so, so, what you're telling me is, if you're a real fan. And people bomb once, twice, three times. You got to keep supporting them because you're a real fan. That's what you're saying, huh? What I'm telling you is getting punched in the face is part of your life as a boxer. All I'm saying is that striking out is part of you swinging hard enough to hit a home run. Hey, Cat, let me tell you, at any point now, they're going to offer you $100 million to fight Jake Paul or one of them, man. One of them fucking YouTubers, man. Is you going to take the bag, Cat? <laughs> I, I, I apologize that that sounds like a bag. Ooh. I have people. Ooh. <laughs> Get the I'm pound for pound. Thing I could ever possibly be, and I've known me since birth. I ain't greater than nobody else, but I am the greatest I could possibly be, and that's on facts. So, you know. Yo, let me tell you something, cat. Yo, cat, you talking like you got big money, yo. Like, the damn, I'm like a crackhead or something, man. I'm fucked up. You telling me a hundred million ain't no fucking paper. What I'm saying is, if you 85 15 with the arena and you on 16 mm. tours, I'm saying. That's why I really, because it got you thinking about stuff you probably shouldn't be thinking about. There's other things out there, and I'm I'm rich before you get to the money. That's the part. I'm very, very, mm. very wealthy before you get to your first dollar. You follow what I'm saying? As man, it's, I'm I'm glad to know that I know you always have off. money. I know you always good, but I'm glad to know that you that that, that you sitting on it like you got that bread for. That's I, that that. Fucking inspires me, man, to see my people win on that level, man. No, no, no. The floodgates will open for all of us, but a lot of times we hear the instruction and we don't follow the actual instruction. So we all know that the Bible say, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want." But we go right to the next part, and we should have stopped right there. See, the part is, "I shall not want." <laughs> If I need a mm. clock, it's there. If I need a color man, it's there. I don't want it, though. I don't need to want it. I get whatever I want. I have to look away from married women because I can't want you. That's how deep into non-want you have to allow yourself to get. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. As a comedian, hey, yo, it's not always going to be brilliant, but I'm obligated to make sure it's something nobody else said. Yo, Cat, do you work people? Like, if you went to a restaurant and talked to people, do you work your material on just random people to see how funny this shit is? Look, don't try to bait me. Tracy Morgan always been like that. That's what he do. Like, Fucking Tracy Morgan, man. How you doing to talk about this is. motherfucker, man? <laughs> Yo, he get you at a fucking game. He won't stop talking shit. Like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I love Tracy. That's my brother. I love him. He funny as shit. But if he don't shut the fuck up, man. Yo, yo, let me tell you something. Yo, cat. No, yo, no, no. I sat in the other shit. He had some white boys over there. Now maybe he was killing them, dude. No, maybe you're not a comedian. Huh? Because he here's the thing. You are providing a service to him. You are helping him. You are essential in his get down. See, he can't talk to the regular Joe and do that because the regular Joe is going to be invested and not let him get off what he's trying to get off. You are so famous that he can play this on you and get your reactions on it no matter how you feel about it. 
You got to understand. Don't say every time I last see time. Him. Last time I seen him, he said. Oh, that's what he does. Hey. Yeah, yeah. He told me go get my beach chair. Iron. Let's go on the I-95 and look for the a Amazon truck. Nah, Tracy Morgan. <laughs> Y'all, Tracy yeah. Morgan's bug out. The motherfucker bug out. I mean, I, I wait, wait, what's... <laughs> What's it like when you all get together? Like you just all get together. What the fuck is that like when everybody's on their shit, like spitting shit? That that's like a cipher for rappers and shit. It's the greatest thing ever because there's no way to fake. Everybody know who the big dog Ooh. is because of <laughs> So with no Ooh. with no camera, Ooh. I get treated the way I should be treated. It's only out here in the public that we try to erase it from history. But privately, oh, we are all in agreement. We understand. See, the thing is, you got to be the king when you take Ooh! your crown off. You dress in rags. Yo, yo, and yo, you cat. Both in yo, cat. Street, I'm not going to still got to be the king. Let me tell you. Hold on, cat. I got I to I say something. When my brother right. Big Pun was here, rest in peace. They did not oh. want to fuck with him. They wanted no parts of pun. I seen him trying to rap. He used to tell the greatest rappers, yo, let's do a song. They were scared the fuck to fucking get on songs with him. They didn't want to do cyphers with him. They knew. They was in agreement. They was in agreement that this motherfucker was the best, man. So I, I know exactly what you're saying. Whoever those other rappers are, go and check and see, do they have a street named after themselves? That's the end of that. You don't have to tell me that greatness is going to make sure you recognize it. The cream don't sometimes rise to the top or the cream under certain circumstances rises to the top. No, no. If there's any cream, it's up and it's up and it's stuck. It's nothing you can do about it. Sure, hate it. Talk shit about it. Mock it, if you will. But at the end of the day, you're doing that from down at the bottom where you should be. Ooh. Yo, let me ask yeah. you, yo, cat. Is, because cause motherfucker really acting like COVID is over. Like, no bullshit. Like, motherfuckers acting like, like, recently, I think these last little two weeks or something, I that like they acting like you know we shot a video college shit, uh we went to uh Jim Jones' wife's birthday like it, like motherfuckers is dead ass acting like this shit is over. Um, have you been talking about touring as soon as this thing opens up? Um. I'm booked whenever it does open and am in no hurry for it to open. This process is necessary to starve out the heathen. <laughs> See, any big business already making money, been making money. You made mm. enough money. That's what the margin is for, is for you to be able to coast if the world dictates that you must coast. Otherwise, don't act like you on there. So, having said that, you know, we pray for everybody, everybody, but not everybody got it. Everybody has access to it, though. And if nobody else hears anything else I say, just people under the sound of my voice understand that if there is a God, and there is, if there is a switch, and there is, if you have a finger, and you do, you can flip the switch on your own life whenever you decide. Nobody can stop that. You alone can say tomorrow, I'm going to be something brand new. This version here, don't get it. I need the power to do that is the only evidence of God you really need is the fact. Because you hear people talking about manifesting, but manifesting takes you down the wrong road. Manifesting makes you think you got some power. You ain't got no power. If you could manifest, you wouldn't be in the position needing to manifest. God gives you a manifestation so you understand that that connection works, not so you can then make that your thing. But yeah, if you, you wonder know, why they had me got... that... Now, that's real talk, Kat, though, but I, I honestly believe 
everybody has a tailor-made relationship with God, you know, and, and nobody is really the most proper person to tell you, you know, do you love God or, what, you know, what kind of music you listen to or what kind of... I mean, yo, bro, I think if you're righteous, you take care of your family, you're good, you help other people, you pray to God. I think I, I think everybody I see, I has their you... own relationship. Right. Well, what people need to understand is a lot of the things that we put on God didn't even come from God. These are things we think. So we think, oh, if you cuss, that's not godly. What If I cuss in what language? What language do God be speaking? What are you talking about? <laughs> he hates certain parts of the English language. He hates certain parts of man-made language. You're so, man, you don't understand. Yeah. Don't, yeah, it's the morning in the Philippines right now. It's the fucking morning in the Philippines right now. So, I mean, like, what type of time we on? Like, <laughs> you, you know, I, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. I, exactly what you just said, I believe in. Like, yo, if we righteous, we take care of our families, we beautiful people, we give to people, we help people, we make people happy. I think that's the relationship, the righteousness with God. I can't get caught up in who got the most perfect relationship or who knows God better or whose God is better. Like, that, that's where it all gets fucked up at. Well, well, no, understand that... that um no matter what God you believe in, no God started the religion you're attaching to that God. So the Christianity mm. was started by people that killed Jesus. So if you want to know who killed Jesus, it was the Romans, and then they started the Roman Catholic Church to praise his name. So if you want to just understand what things are, mm. it's a form of business, no matter how you decide to uh, talk about it, whether it's tax free or not. It's a form of business. That's why Jesus went to the temple and tore it up. Why would he do that? What was he saying? And he tells you, you know. What I mean? So that's so my you, yeah, that, that bothers me, though, cat. That bothers you know. You know what bothers me, Mac? Like what's that? I had a five percent of God body one time when I was young. You know, I come from my projects is called Godsville, and they used to you know, do the cypress. And he told me about pork. I never ate pork since I'm like 12 years fucking old. Like, I, like I really believe this shit to this day. And I can sit down okay. with Muslims, Jews, okay. all type. They eating the swine like a motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn, okay. I'm trying to keep all right. this so, real for some shit. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. No, just, just understand this part, if you will. This is when... God said, don't eat pork, right? To the people that he was talking to, right? He was not making a culinary statement. I don't have time mm. to eat because you're not advanced as a civilization enough to know that if you didn't cook this thoroughly, you are all going to get salmonella poisoning and everyone's going to die that eats this undercooked. So now God mm. can't give you the lesson that you're all going to know 5,000 years later. He just tells you, hey, don't eat that. Oh, but it smells good. It's great. Don't eat it. And because they didn't, they were able to preserve their society when others were dying. It, it's just that simple. Mm. That, that was the best of the do not eat pork. Yeah. And, and so, so once you so, understand, yeah, you know they got these churches. They got these churches now, man. They got the uh the cash register right next to the uh where you where you pray, you put your knees on the shit. They got the ATM machine right on the road, right, right, right on the aisle. Like you ever seen one of these shits in real that's, life where they got the ATM? That's just for convenience. What's more troublesome is we want to believe that this personal guy, this guy we're looking at, this guy talks to God, but we don't believe he ain't cheating on the first lady. Like, make it make sense. You don't believe he talking to his wife. You don't believe that communication is 100, but you believe God is channeling through him. What has he said that made you believe that? We demand evidence mm. for so much, but...
we allow things that are so important to be swept under the rug. So paying teachers don't matter. So now everybody in the whole country make more than the teachers and we know it and we don't change it and we cool with it and we still putting our babies in. A pandemic had to come for us to see we teachers. Now we see what the teacher was talking about for him. He do talk too much, just like she said. <laughs> he, he won't oh, pay no, attention. No. I see it. You follow him? So yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He tough. talk a lot, and you are correct, man. The teachers don't get paid enough. The oh, that, that that's a fucking problem, man. That the teacher gotta take care of thirty bad motherfuckers, and they ain't really getting paid no money, man. Like it's been like this since dude, I was a kid. Dude, they told us that the lottery system was for them, and people been winning. $500 million since we can remember. We don't remember nobody's school getting upgraded, not one time nowhere in the country. But these are the type of conversations Cat Williams has uh, in his projects. And, um, you know, it takes it. Yo, Joey Cat, to man, bring it out. You the fucking best, man. Hey, you man. You the best, only, man. Only I only... I... Yeah. I ain't hear you. What you said, Cat? Nothing. You were talking. Go ahead. No, nah, I said you the best cat, man. And everybody know that shit, man. You you different, brother, man. I man, I thank you for all the times you said some funny shit, man. I love your shit. Every time this shit come out, I run to your shit, man. Even back in the DVD days and all that shit. I used to run to that shit, man, because you know we feel like you one of us, man. You from right next door. You you kicking that real shit. You ain't trying to be something you not. You know what I'm saying? And and we 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 love that shit about you though, cat. Thank you, Joey. Don't I, I appreciate you saying it all. It, it's um people in our demographic weren't supposed to make it to 25. So, you know, based upon that, we already I'm on my second, third life already. You know what I mean? By those standards. That is a and fact. The whole thing is, um, I was 35 on Wildin' Out. Let that sink in. Underdig, I came in it when I came in it. Everybody was already famous, but I had seen so many great examples that I knew what it could be. You know what I mean? So back to your initial question, like who was inspiring me? I was inspired by Con. I was watching the life of Brian. I thought Barney Fife was a comedian. I, I, I was watching things that made me laugh. I, I appreciated the genre and I didn't have a filter on what the funny was. So it was, it was um, everything that came down that lane because I, I, that was the lane I was gonna be performing and I was just fortunate that God made this way for me and um you know Yo, Kat, they say you, you can ever, have you ever met, give you go ahead let me ask you something have you ever met yeah uh rest in peace dmx and what was he like to you when you uh how how inspirational was his music to you in your career and just life well um i always had um a whole relationship with music itself. So um, as somebody who had left home early when you had a Walkman, I, I um, was married to the fact that I could put those headphones on and be somewhere other than where I actually was. And music has been that my whole life. I, um, I met Prince when I was 12 years old and continued to know him all through my life. So musically i was always on different things than most people i was listening to pearl jam and ll cool j i was i was i thought rock him was the greatest rapper that could have ever uh been created just because i have been following i thought that he had presented something that couldn't even be topped by himself and maybe even that was right but that what was presented in hip hop at that time was so pure and so the only voice you weren't hearing and hip hop gave you that from everybody's vantage point. And we watched it go from when the rapper was the softest dude in the club 
to where now the rapper got his own bodies. You follow what I'm saying? And the evolution of that <laughs> in hip hop, just as real as how fun the ride has been. That's what people forget is um, real is not a filter. But a filter is not beautiful mm. neither. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? Mm. No <laughs> bullshit, man. Cause I'm... a lot of a lot of people, a no. lot of people getting full full makeovers is not making over the part of themselves that is the issue. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's real shit. That's yeah. deep shit, though. But, but everything I know, shit, I owe that all to, to, to black women. You know what I mean? Black women are the the essence of of this creation, and that's why it endures. That's why it that's why it's special at all. Is because of that. So the black woman. So you're not. I can see Cat William with a white girl. No, no, you couldn't. And you haven't ever. You should ah! look it up. Ah! It's not because I. It's not. Because I can't, and it's not because of anything to them. It's not that. It's that when I was coming up, when I was reading the books of what would mess up the people in the entertainment business, it was if they were um, a black guy, it was the drugs and it was the white women. And that's what messed up all of these stories that I read. And I just said, okay, when I come in, I'm not going to do those two things. I'm not going to do nothing other than what I'm right now and right then I was smoking weed and I was smoking cigarettes and that was the end of it and to this mm -hmm. day all these years later I'm still on the only two substances I came in with I'm still just nicotine and THC that's why you never see the product suffer because I am the product that's why he never is nowhere re-upping because he is re-upped <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the hip hop has always been able to be the music to the soundtrack of my life with all of the artists. And you are an institution in hip hop. You follow what I'm saying? I've I've known I've known Wayne for fifteen, twenty years. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I I've been out here, you know what so, I mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You already said Rock Kim. Who's on your top five rappers list? Uh, cause you wouldn't give me the top five comedians. Uh, so who's on your top on. five Hold rappers on. list? Hold on. First of all, you did not ask me nothing about no top five comedians, and then heard me not answer the question. I but I was trying nah, to be you, respectful you, because you've had you've had people on right, and those people have been able yeah. to top five of theirs right and not say my name now that doesn't make me feel any type of mm -hmm. way personally but it means you don't respect statistics and in everybody else's lane we got stats we don't have no negroes walking around like they lebron james because lebron james got stats imagine you having the option to leave your <laughs> leave talk your shit god talk your shit <laughs> It's probably more Whoa. likely that you're not, not that. So, you know, that's what the body of work is for. That's why that's why Lean Back was that then and now. Things have, some mm -hmm. things don't change. Rembrandt is not experiencing so, its Kat, downturn. Mozart five? is not now losing it. Can you give me a top five comedians, Rappers? Kat? Comedians. You would have to tell me what you were basing it on. Just base it because on funny motherfuckers. Comedians, they're they're actors that are delivering funny material, and they'll be on the list. And there are people that are on. This no, I'm list. talking about. I'm talking about. I wouldn't expect you to say none of them fake guys. I'm talking about the real deal. Like, like who is truly funny from the cloth? That that's that's unfair. That's. I I could give you a top five female comedian. I could give you a top five heavy set comedian. I could give you a, a top five thin. Smart fucking crazy, right? Yeah, 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 this fat. Cat Williams though, man. <laughs> yeah. 
You follow what I'm saying? I, so it's not fair, it's too that much. Was, that's what the Def Jam 25 was to show you is that, hold on, that's like somebody saying, who's the greatest shooter uh, in, in NBA history, right? It depends on what it is you're basing it on. They try Don't to say Steph on Curry. Stats. What do you mean they try yeah, they to try say, They try to say sir? Steph Curry, though. Sir. They, sir, they dead ass say try... that shit on TV right now. Like... What do... That's because it's dead ass true, and you can't unprove it. See, the difference is he's See? already in that conversation, and he hasn't even shown us the best he has yet. Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off. You can't cap greatness. What are you talking about? You're talking about the guy who made it popular for you to shoot 15 feet further than you had to? You mean Ooh. that guy? Knock it off. Maybe the fifth degree line. They saying it. You know what happened to me? Point line, you'd have to say Steph. And then Yo, you'd have Kat, to make the I don't like. Part. I don't really like football. Shout out my brother John Beeson used to play. I don't really like football. But one thing I do know is Tom Brady's the best. And so, and, and, and of all time. And so what I'm saying is how I really knew that was when he won that, well, well the next to last is, is not this chip, but the one before it. And he had like Teddy Bradshaw, the biggest motherfuckers. And they were like, yo, the ground you walk on, the soil you, you took. Like they gave it up to this dude where a guy like me who don't watch football, I said, holy shit. This is the go. Like, it, it, this is the guy. Uh, if, if that's true. Uh, what is it that's take? True, if that was true, then you could tell me who was the guy before him then. The guy before Tom Brady? Nah, Tom Brady's the greatest. He's the MJ of the shit. Hey, no question, Cat. First of all, that's disrespectful to MJ. He's, nah, nah, nah. Tom Brady a bad he's, motherfucker. He's the TV of this shit, sir. I, I won bukus of money on the uh, on the Champa Bay Buccaneers. Shout out to KC. But we we had already called that game. That's not about that. What I'm explaining is we can't move the goalpost for anybody. Tom Brady got mm -hmm. the stats to prove what you're saying. And you couldn't be saying that mm -hmm. as a Patriot fan because he ain't a Patriot, right? You couldn't have been a Bucks nope. fan this whole time just waiting on Brady. That's just evidence, his body of work. LeBron has been a champion everywhere he went. Now he went somewhere and became a champion. And the reason they hate on the man is because they taught us, you got to go through this college system and you got to learn the fundamentals for four years for free. And then you can go be rich. And yet the Kobe and the LeBron. Yeah, you got to let motherfucker pimp you and hopefully you don't break your fucking kneecap. Wow, them you don't and have then if to. you break your kneecap and you become a martyr, they'll sell your jerseys for the end of fucking time and you won't make a dollar, huh? It works for who it works for, but everything's not always the answer all the time. At the time they were saying it, they weren't making millions and millions of dollars off of each jersey. Things change, and as they change financially, they have to change that in the rules to reflect the people. The teacher ain't coming in for free, and nor is the administrator. <laughs> how how, mm. how can I accidentally get an injury, and now I can't learn nothing? But even in the, in the high leagues like the NFL, they don't have no problem with you getting CT and going out there and shooting uh, some people and losing your life, and they know you got a full-fledged brain injury, and they know because they've been treating you the whole time and sat your loopy self on the bench and said, hey, you need to take some time off, and that's how you got in the strip club in the first place. And now, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. that's I don't CTE, even like you. That, that shit oh. real as fuck. Your brain is real as fuck, so any brain injury is real as fuck. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you're no a basketball question. player, you know my brother. We, my brother, my right say, hand man, he played football forever. But no, your body my don't work like that. My brother Rich played. He played football. That's him freezing again. Nah, nah, that's not me. I mean, we both talking. I no. said my brother, my right hand man, Rich. <laughs> he played football for like 15 years. Sometimes that nigga's fast to where I think he might want to do something to me or something. 
And I, no, I swear to God, I'd be like, yo, bro, it's CTE. Like, you need, you need to stop. Cause Dude. you looking like you're about to Dude. throw me up this moving on the highway. Like you got the chill, B. No, but see, the brain don't operate like that. The brain has been hit, 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 defense, defense, own it, own it, own it, own it. And then now you saying, okay, that's over now. Turn that off. Your brain don't work like that. You don't have no real power. <laughs> that's why you can't afford to play mm. with things you can't fix. Mm. That is a fact. No brain. That is a fact. You can't be counting that on the person that got My paid brother. if you okay. If you okay sometimes. That's all I'm saying. Shout out Jack Thriller, DJ Infamous is in this motherfucker. That's you know, we is. got a lot of legends in this motherfucker tonight. Yeah, you know, Jack. We over. We done went versus time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You really done taking advantage of me. Situation. No, no, no. Listen, oh, yo, Cat, I love you, my brother. That's yo, what yo, Cat, I never <laughs> he said we went over this time. <laughs> hey, yo, Cat. Hey, yo, Cat. I owe you a dinner, man. I owe you a fucking dinner. I obviously can't afford to get I'm a, anything I'm a else. Like I told Puffy, I don't let men take me out, sir. I'm good. <laughs> I'll do no dinner. <laughs> Yo, Cat, I love you, brother. I thank you for everything. Thank you for Likewise. coming on the big, big show, man. I appreciate you, my brother. Definitely I love do. you, man. Thank you so Likewise, much, Cat, I love man. Those ways. Peace. Shout out to the people. All right, my brother. <laughs> yo, Cat, wait, yo, let me tell you. You don't know who I know. You don't know who I know. This ain't no regular shit. <laughs> Your man Cat Williams, and you got to watch it with him. Cause he might have CTE too. This motherfucker flip on you in one second. So it's like, yo, you got to be careful. Tread light. Tread light. We cat Williams. Oh wow. That was fucking amazing. And I couldn't contain myself. Yo, Rashad. Yo, I could not contain myself. Cause it's not every day you got the one and only Cat Williams on here. And I'm gonna be honest. He's in my top. Three of all time. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cat Williams is is in the, if he's I have Richard Pryor, Cat Williams, and Dave Chappelle on my top three. I'm not gonna fucking lie. If I got to throw in the fourth, it'll be my guy, Lavelle Crawford. No bullshit. These are funny niggas. Yo, listen, I, I can't right now. I got to, yo, tell Ted I'm going to turn it off and come back for Ted. Because whenever I throw him on DJ, they block the, the video. This is too important. This is Cat Williams. So we want the people to see this motherfucker. I'm going to post this and turn back on for Ted Smooth. You know, but, but I can't lose this, Ted. I can't lose this interview just to play music and, 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 and get it going. Um, I'm coming right back. I'm going to post this up. It ain't over. I'm coming right back on. I just want to make sure we got this in the archives. Peace to the gods. It's the biggest in the motherfucking game. Cat Williams, Joe Crack on the big, 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 big. Biggest show in the game, Wild Cherry Pepsi, baby. You know what? What was it? Gumbo? Gumbo. Gumbo. Luca Brasi. Luca Brasi doesn't sleep with the fishes. You want to get high? Gumbo. Edgar Balanga, what's up, baby? You see your man, Tracy Morgan, be playing with me, Edgar. He play with me, Cat William. The Don comes on this motherfucker. Respect the Fat Joe show. Respect the Fat... Nobody fucking with this. Julius Randle came on yesterday and said, New York, we back. See? 